Spruce Knob Lake in northeastern West Virginia. Our campsite. <laughs> Our tar tarp's drying out. Nicole and I got the campsite set up, so now we're just taking a stroll to go see Spruce Knob Lake. We definitely have the Ratchet family camping right next to us. They're right across from us. Their kids are out of control. There's like seven or eight kids. <laughs> there are the the adults are just arguing the whole time. Yelling at the kids. The adults are yelling at the kids. Yeah, it's like it's bad, but it's whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, and we didn't reserve we this spot. We got super lucky. I just think it's funny. It's a classic <laughs> case of being right next to the loud and obnoxious family while you're we camping. We have earplugs, so it's all right. It's funny though. I like it. Milkweed. Nicole's able to identify some of these plants. Crown vetch, milkweed. Curly dock. <laughs> Curly dock. Chicory. Oh, there's the lake. Up that way, or down that way, I should say. Looks like there's an entrance up over yonder. We are out here in the mountains, out here in the hills of West Virginia. It's pretty awesome. Oh, the lake. Here we go, we got a map. So we walked from up here. Here's our campsite, and we walked down here. And here's the lake. Oh, it's only 15 feet deep, 10 feet deep, 5 feet deep. Oh, that's nice. Where's the... Um, you can swim in the entire thing. Observation thing. Where is that? That is... So we're here, or and I think we need to walk to here. So it's, it's a hike. Oh. It's going to be like a half day hike or a day hike for us. Yeah, it's going to be fun. This is such a cool vacation spot to bring the family. So there's a nice uh, walking trail that goes around this. Not that too big of a lake. Oh, there. That's a magnet. He's trying to get metal oh. from the lake. Well, this is just outright beautiful. It's this nice little secluded lake out here in the high hills. It's absolutely beautiful. This probably just goes all the way around there. Yeah, it's just, it's just a, the we can walk around the lake. But this is like, this is like what I picture when I think of like nature, like a lake with hilly trees. Hmm. All right, let's walk around the lake. Wow. I said, it looks like it's old. So this is awesome. Hmm. How often do you come out here and do this? This is our first time at Seneca. Okay, okay. Ours so, too. Magnet fishing. There's no permits or, um, or, um, or license required yet. Okay. okay, yet. Okay. Yet. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna I'm actually very interested in this. I am too. I you know, want to try that sometime. Like if I'm ever around somewhere and I got some a couple hours to kill, just throw the magnet in. Yeah. Well <laughs> thanks for awesome. the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. To see all of the footage I got from the interaction with the magnet fisherman, see our other video, Chronicles of a Magnet Fisherman. A link to that video in the description below. So we just got done talking to this really awesome dude. Over there. Oh my god, that sounded like a beehive. I was scared. <laughs> and we're out here in the thick. We are in the thick right now. Look at this. This is beautiful. Are you sure about this walk, babe? I think it's just a shit ton of gnats. Oh, okay, we'll keep going. I'm a little nervous, but it's okay. <laughs> this is all part of the void fill. Um, but yeah, this really awesome guy and I don't know, maybe it was his son or they're magnet fishing and they said they got the idea on YouTube. And so, <laughs> yeah, so uh, they wanted to know the YouTube channel, so I told them. I'm really nervous right now. I keep hearing heavy buzzing Please. all over the place and I don't know what it is. Where are we going? I don't know, I think we're going around the lake. This is some pretty killer nature we got going on here. Some heavy, some hardcore pineage. Hardcore pineage. Oh yeah, these are the trails. 
that make it all worth it. These are the trails that make those questionable drives into areas like this all worth it. This lake, the, the deepest it gets is 15 feet. The map coming in here shows uh, 15 feet, 10 feet, and 5 feet. Now, yeah, it's a really, really shallow lake. You can just swim across the whole thing and not even really <laughs> worry about being in too deep of water. Just so beautiful. So many spruces. So many moss. Look at this. Look at this moss. Oh, beautiful. It's so refreshing to have so much green around. I can smell. I can literally smell the nature. This is a much needed mental break from the rat race of the Western lifestyle. Nicole loves moss. She's getting so many moss picks. Good for you, babe. You get those moss picks. It's so soft and spongy. <laughs> oh, it makes me excited for the Northwest. Spruce Knob Lake in northeastern West Virginia. All right, that completes our lap around Spruce Knob Lake. Well, that was a nice, fun little walk. That's a nice shot of the valley. Looking straight down. So there is the lake drain, which goes down to there and down that stream. Getting this fire going pretty quick because I hear we hear thunder and a storm might be rolling in. We do got the canopy in case that happens, but uh, this is going to make my life a lot easier tonight. Check it out. It's a little mini one. A mini Duraflame fire start log for 90 cents. Unfortunately, I just supported Walmart, but I mean, what can you say? Like, this is so convenient. I'm not gonna, I can just light that and walk away and I got a fire. Nicole's preparing some food, got some potatoes. We're gonna fry those up on the grill, on the grill, <laughs> on the can, on Riddle. the fire. Got some onions, some green peps. So gonna have a nice yummy dinner tonight. All right, I've got a fire going. Gonna be able to cook some food soon. Oh boy. Look what Nicole has prepared for us. Mm mm mm. It's gonna be delicious. Got some coconut oil. Gonna have some potatoes and some green peps. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. All right. So we got this awesome multi spice thing salt, paprika, curry, cayenne, garlic salt, and black pepper. It's pretty convenient out here when you're camping. Mmm. Nicole made some delicious potatoes. Now she's cooking up some vegetables. We are losing light here in the Monongahela National Forest. It's pronounced Monongahela. Time to turn on the old light. Our neighbors have calmed down for now. All right, we're laying down for the night. We got any trace of food locked up in the car? Yep. For bears, even though black bear activity around here is very low but you still have to make sure it cooled down so that's nice and they get be a nice comfortable sleep now that it cooled down oh i'm tired me too me too good night